back take. So sometimes the person's just past your guard and we don't want them inside control and we don't want them having our back. And sometimes like just like the pass that we sort of just worked where you just sort of turn the legs away, um, when your legs are turned away, the traditional escape, like most of the time we can face the person we will. Like if I can turn and face the Carl and make frames and get my legs back, that's the best way to recover guard. But when my legs are facing away and he's already closed the gap, my chance of like turning out and then being able to escape side control before he's actually consolidated position is really low. Okay? So when you're turned away, often we can try to use this uh, as a way to recover, but we're going to have to turn away even more and try to not let our back get taken. Okay? So the first thing is, whatever you do, do not let them connect their seatbelt. As soon as Mikhail locks this up, if he's good, uh, if he's uh, good and he's got his chest behind my back with the seatbelt, I reckon uh, nine times out of ten, they're going to get you back, okay? Regardless of where you roll, okay? So do not let them attach their hands. So as soon as I start to turn away, he's just past the guard. As soon as I start to turn away, just block this arm, the one that you can reach. I can't really block this arm too well without uh, exposing a lot of space. So I'm just going to stay here and block this arm and try and connect your hands here, Mikhail. I'm going to make it difficult for him to connect his hands, okay? Now, what I want to do, keep that blocked, bend my feet up, and my aim is to get my hips, like, in front of that arm, okay? So you have to lift your hips up off the ground, and pretty much put your, your butt in front of their face, and then we're going to swing our legs back, okay? So again, we're here, and I block the arm, start to lift my hips up until my hips are free. Once I'm there, my outside leg is going to swing over, then we're back to guard. If you want to go to closed or open guard, that's fine. Just go back to, to here, okay? So again, we're here, block the arm. I also tend to like uh, try and like drop my shoulder and my head to the ground, so it's harder for them to dig their, their left hand really deep through, okay? So obviously if I'm, if I'm like this, he's gonna have a much easier time. So try and like drop low, push, lift your hips, and then swing your leg back in front, okay? One more time. All right, let's practice that. Uh, three minutes each. I want you to do left and right with this, okay? You can't decide which side they're going to pass. You need to be good on both sides. Three, two, one. I, I missed that opportunity. I don't know, maybe he sort of stayed. Uh, I went to do that, but he sort of stayed chest behind my back. And we end up in, in turtle here like this, okay? Turtle, like you don't want to, you don't want to be here. So uh, generally, it's a position that you want to transition through as quick as possible. You're the, like the person on defense, yeah? So, uh, Mikhail, there's more to his advantage if I'm sitting here trying to fight grips and, and waiting, okay? So usually, you know, if I go to turtle, it's usually like, you know, we're all in through and trying to like, maybe sit back together this way, okay? Um, but let's just assume that we actually get stuck there. So I come up, okay, again, most important thing is gonna be, uh, not letting them connect their hands. Once they connect their hands, again, you're in a lot of trouble, okay? So if we go back, I tend to feel once you're up in turtle, it now becomes a lot easier to control this hand than the one that's down here, okay? Because if I put all my focus here, he can actually start to set up a, a choke. Um, so I actually do have to put a lot of my attention here and I can actually reach the, the arm pretty well. When we go back to when I was on my side, like it's kind of hard for me to to block this one so much and it's easy to get here. Um, so as you roll up, I want you to start, like if you feel that you've lost this, it's not gonna work, start blocking this top hand. I'm gonna roll through and I want you to sit back really low, give no space at all for the for the hook to come through, okay? There's one other back take that Mikhail wants to, um, to do when I roll up, which is to try and slide his, if I give a big gap, he might slide his foot through there and get a hook straight away, okay? So if I feel like the, the gongo, which is the last one we did, isn't gonna work, I'll usually start trying to block that hook with my my left hand here, as we come up to turtle, and then we're here, okay? Now, uh, so try as much as you can not to let them connect their hands. If we can get to here and his hands aren't connected, the first thing I'm gonna try to do is get my head to the other side of the hand, okay? So if I can go here like this, now it's going to be pretty difficult for Mikhail to take my back. Okay. So if he goes for my back now, because his hand's on the other side, anytime he jumps over, he's going to roll off. Okay. Like that. He's 
probably not going to do that, but I'm just saying if he does try to sort of jump and connect. Uh, so we're here like this. Now that my head's on the other side, I can start reaching my left hand towards the leg. Oops, sit down on my left hip and start either going towards guard or driving through uh, to try and get on top. Okay. So again, I want you to practice the turning as well because I feel like if you don't do that right, you're going to get caught pretty much straight away. So as you're turning, we're blocking the top hand, blocking the bottom hook, and then we're holding both hands on this arm. If you can get two hands on the one and they haven't connected their harness, uh, make sure you like you're covering this space here because if you can get hooks, he will. Like if I'm like this and he can put both feet in, he gets hooks and he will actually free his arm and get into a good spot. If I stay low on back, hold the arm. I want to turn my hand to the other side, let go with my near hand and reach around this leg. Now he can't even jump to put a hook in. So even if I opened up this space, this leg can't go to get a hook. So I've got two options. I drop down and go back towards guard, or I keep hold of the leg and start trying to drive forward to get up, to get on top. Okay. One more time. Okay. I'm a little bit okay with it being a bit of a scramble wherever you end up, as long as it's not the back. I don't care. Okay. So if they didn't end up on your back. <coughs> You end up in a weird spot that's not the back, you'll probably improve your position. Okay, three, two, one.